Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yolino TV. I hope you well from whatever you're watching this channel. This issue of IBC, you know, the court pronounced itself on it last week and said that reconstitution of the IBC should be done as soon as possible because in their ruling, they said High Court Judge Mugure Thande directed that the current IBC selection panel moves with speed and immediately recruits new IBC commissioners, including their chair. In their ruling, they literally tried to say that they were not aware of the NADCO report. Because we as Kenyans are aware that there is a NADCO report that is supposed to be implemented, but the NADCO report has not been fully endorsed by the two houses. And the two leaders have partially endorsed it. So that means there is some doubt on this NADCO report. So the courts, they literally said in their minds there, maybe when they are making some more their own discussions regarding the matter, they say that they cannot wait for this NADCO report that was uh, that came as a result of those street demonstrations. So Ichungwa has responded, and you know Ichungwa is one of the one of those politicians in Mount Kenya who have been supporting William Samoy Ruto, Liwalo Naliwe. So he said this, there is not a single provision of the law that President Ruto must consult anybody in appointing either the panel or commission of IEBC. We will not take threats from opposition. You know, soon after the courts made that pronouncement which many people interpreted differently interpreted in a way that the president should proceed you know there were various reactions and one of those people reacted was Raila Molodinga so I want us to go further into this Ichungwa statement and the reaction that he seems to be talking about but before you do that allow me to welcome you again to this analysis and Subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. Mind you, if you like this video, YouTube shares our video to other people who are not part of our audience. So please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So I was telling you about Ichungwa. Ichungwa, the Mount Kenya politician, Ambaya Mepata, a lot of sharp criticisms from people, especially some people are saying that he's one of those people who used to bring bad policies to parliament, bad laws. So if you look at some of the policies he brings, laws he brings in parliament, like let's say for example the housing levy. When the courts uh, gave some breaks, temporary breaks last year on the housing levy collection or the terming the old housing levy and constitutional, Ichungwa rushed to parliament and formulated another bill a bill that was going to comply with what the courts want so that the government can collect housing levy from the people ichungo is also known for uh, for public uh, addresses which cannot be substantiated so in this iebc struggle ichungwa seems to be telling william bruto achana na raila chagua panel chagua commissioners kazi endele but that's not how the constitution is formulated there was a time they attempted to make an amendment to some laws on how the constitution of the parliament should be you see that raisa chagwe hawa of which from from the the new regulation raisa alikota chagua wengi na the moment you chagua wengi wengi wata favor you uh, you, you that selection panel na kama wengi wame favor selection panel it means they will have friendly IBC commissioners so this is what i ichungwa is trying to call for ruto to select the selection panel mwenyewe alafu wachagua IBC commissioners wenyewe commissioners who will make rulings in their favor this is what ichungwa is trying to tell the people so what do you think of these remarks do you agree with ichungwa Personally, I think Ichungwa amepotea. Kivyangu, naona kama Ichungwa amepotea kabisa. The law is clear. Kwamba Ruto hawezi chagua mwenyewe wale panel, zile panel hawezi chagua mwenyewe. The NADCO report, I think, expanded these panels. 
the number of the selection panels it expanded the number of selection panels so i think nine if i'm not wrong if it was from seven to nine something like nine yeah i think that's the truth i'll just confirm from uh the the the, the from from the for my diary I, read, I wrote it somewhere there i'll just confirm that but i'm sure it must be nine that is the number so that was the verdict that was arrived at during the uh, bombers talks on the national dialogue committee so ladies and gentlemen what do you make of this ichungwa uh, request yeah anambia ruto ruto wewe chagua commissioners in fact ukishachagua commissioners wako utasema kwamba huyu ndiye awe, awe chebukati the new chebukati chagua huyo pia sasa ukishachagua huyo pia alafu kikuja huko parliament chagua cj so chagua cj ukishachagua cj so even if wa kenya wakiamua okay, pige kura vyenye wanafikiri wanaenda kupiga maka wakenya wengi wanasema kwamba hawatapiga iko hichi serikali kura tuseme wasi waamue kwamba hawatapiga eh wakisema hawatapiga basi commission na IBC commission ndio itaamua venye zile zile namba zitachezochezwa sasa ukishaamua vile namba zitachezwa then ukienda kotini pale kuna CJ ambao pia amewekwa ambao ni wao CJ wao tu huyo CJ pia anangoja eh, wale jamaa wapeleke wapeleke petition because what has it Raila Odinga might fire again so if he does fire again watakuwa anangoja petition kama kawaida Raila amepeleka petition so akisha peleka petition kazi yao wanashajua hiyo kwamba hii kitu tutasema kwamba eh, ni 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 ile wild goose chase amele hotel that is what they pronounce si, akin to mother comes pronouncement maybe they'll come up with other words which will scare us like wild goose chase ama hiyo hotel you know maybe they will they will invent words zingine ambazo zitatutua tena but let's just for example they don't you know but also Despite the fact that that can happen we also know that it can happen the other way around <laughs> whereby hata hao pia wanaweza shangaa you can come up with your own CJ ambaye atasema hapana huyu jamaa anatuchezea eh anatuchezea and because anatuchezea hatuwezi we can't toe the line that can also happen it happens you know cuz i i believe that when Martha Kome was uh, being appointed and the oath taking Uru could have known that maybe or thought that maybe uh, Uma Takome was going to serve our interests a lafa could serve their interests then you know what happened so even this case if they even if they they try to they they they, they invest their time in the selection and everything maybe things can happen the other way around now if they happen the other way around rest assured Ruto atakitajipata matani So ladies and gentlemen what do you make of this chungwa sentiment saying that yeah, there is no way there is no way in law there is no law that says that Ruto must consult anybody in appointing either the selection panel or the commission of IBC and he goes further to say we will not take threats from opposition because of, of opposition is saying that if they contravene the law then they go back to the streets na ni maandamano 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 mpaka mwaka uishe so that is what the opposition is saying so ichungwa counters that threat and says that amweze tushtua but, but that's what ichungwa seems to have as his own position so ladies and gentlemen what do you make of this uh, remark from uh, ichungwa you know ichungwa for having for making inflammatory remarks so that's what he said you know what do you make of that Please just go below the comment section and tell us about your perception or your view or opinion regarding Ichungwa statement. So perhaps if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed please take one second subscribe to this channel give this video a like and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Now to those who supported us before thank you so much for your support. So until we catch up again stay safe and stay blessed.